Hi, I'm here to give you another short video on a tool or technique which may help you with your uh, semester scripting, scripting project. Uh, and up on the screen, we see the project specification. It's the fire plane dispatcher. And so let's just look at a couple uh, items from the specification, and then I'll get into uh, the tools that we're going to learn today. So as a review, we've got a problem where airplanes are dumping water and fire retardant on forest fires. And to know which plane to dispatch, uh, we are to create a script that can read a data file that includes as its first line the number of planes at our disposal. And that number will represent the next number of lines that represent plane locations. And then the very last line in the file is the location of the actual fire. And these locations we can learn are latitude and longitude coordinates of each airport. So degrees, minutes, and seconds of latitude and degrees, minutes, and seconds of longitude. And our program is going to print the airport that is closest to the fire. Okay. So I am not going to tell you how to solve the problem because there's a multitude of ways and techniques and strategies that can be used. So that's, that's up to you to come up with your own new unique way. But in the course of your work, you may want to employ arrays. So that is what we're going to talk about today, bash arrays. And arrays are data structures that are used to maintain some kind of list of items. There are arrays in almost every programming language, and bash is no different. Let's start by how to initialize an array. And you simply do that by giving the array a name, immediately followed by an equal sign, a left paren, and then a space separated list of your array elements or your list items. The last element is immediately followed by the right hand paren. Now, in the example I just gave you, all the elements were numbers, but you are not restricted to this because uh, really arrays in bash can contain both numbers and strings. So here we have the second example, which is mixed with numbers and strings, and that is 100% valid. Perhaps during the course of your program, you will want to access a given value in the array. And the syntax for accessing an array element is a little bit quirky, but if you follow the example here, you'll have no issues. You have this dollar sign curly bracket and the curly bracket match at the end. And then you name the array, inside those curly brackets, you name the array followed by a hard brackets and the element number of the array for which you want to uh, refer. In this case, 
this is going to return the second element of the array because remember, bash works on a zero index philosophy. To generalize that, to take that concept to the next level, if you want just the ith element of the array where your dollar i contains some element number, then use the syntax that you see here, and you will uh, echo that particular value. Perhaps you want to output all the elements in the array, or, or reference all the elements in the array. And in that particular case, you replace the numeric index with the at sign, and you can think of that at as standing for all or everything. So echo, dollar, curly bracket, name of the array, index of at sign will echo out all of the array elements. So that said, let's actually take a look at Linux. So I have a script. Let's just take a look at it first. Of course, it starts with shebang, bin bash, to let the system know uh, which interpreter we want to use, and a comment. And I merely say here that we're going to have an array of airport names because that is part of our problem, right? We've got airports identified by A, B, C, D, and it says the first airport is in, uh, identified by the letter A, the second B, and there's a maximum of 10 airports. So I have a dummy airport, Z, and if you think about it uh, a little bit, you might understand why I did that, is because I want to start referring to the airports as airport 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And so airport 0 is the dummy. And that, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 possible airports. And I am going to just cycle through that array by saying for I in, use that syntax that we just learned, dollar sign curly bracket, and the name of the array indexed with the at sign. So that means all of the elements of the array. So for I in all of the elements of the array, cycle through and echo each element one at a time. Then at the end, I'm using yet another technique, which you might find useful. I, you see I have this little uh, tic-tac-toe sign or number sign in front of the array name. That will provide for me how many elements are in the array. So. Let's just run this program, this script, and see what we have. So because I have this in my bin directory and I have my dot .profile set to always look in the bin, I do not have to provide the full path name. I can just type in the name of the script. I've also changed mode so that I made sure my script is executable. And I will now run the, pro, the uh, script. You can see that for each element in the array, the for loop goes through and echoes that back out to my uh, terminal. And then the last echo says the array contains, yes, 11 items. 11 elements. So 
I hope this little discussion about arrays maybe gives you some ideas of how you might use this in the script. You can always use uh, Google, Bing, uh, DuckDuckGo, your favorite search engine to look up arrays in Bash so that you can learn more. Experiment, write a little script like I have done here, and you can build up those little uh, solutions into your overall solution. Have fun.